Hi, um, doing this video on uh, dwarf natal plum. Um, you know, a lot of us have uh, larger trees. We like to make them look very tree-like, um, but it's also nice to have some small trees that flower um, and give interest different times of year. Right now, the only thing I have flowering of my trees is uh, I have a dwarf bougainvillea. I have a it's not a lot of flowers on it right now. You can see some towards the back. This is a Turk's cap, uh, not a true hibiscus, even though people think of it that way. And today, there's only one flower left on it right now, um, is this natal plum. Um, but this is a dwarf variety um, called uh, Carissa macrocarpa. Um, and it's a good use some material that you could get for just a few dollars at Home Depot. You can see the price here, $4.49. Um, and that might actually be the wrong pot. <laughs> but I, I know I paid less than $5 for this plant when I bought it. Um, so what I'm going to do today is, uh, is uh, take it out of this pot. I, I took this tree back here and repotted that. Uh, Texas ebony into a larger pot that was getting pot bound in this pot. So this pot should make a nice one uh, for the natal plum and I probably won't really need the root prone. It'll probably fit right in there. Um, I'm short on bonsai soil now. I need to get some. Um, but I have a little bit if I do need it. Um, okay, I'm going to pull it out of this pot. Let's see what we have. Yeah, let me show you the whole plant. Um, what I did, I had this plant probably a year or two. When I first got it, I just removed branches that were right parallel with another branch or cross branching or something straight up down, you know, did the basic cleanup and just made some spacing between the different branches. Um, you know, snipped the tips, try to get it to bud back um, some, uh, and I, then I just left it alone. It's been watered, fertilized, and all that. Um, there's some newer flower buds over here. Haven't opened yet. Probably end up pruning all that off. I'm going to take it out of this pot, and I'm going to cut it way back and style it um, and give it its start as a bonsai. Um, right now, you would say, you know, cascade, semi-cascade style. Uh, probably like a full cascade even. You put the branch down. But when, after I prune it back, we'll see. It could turn into something different. You never know. But let me take it out of this pot. See what we got here. Good set of roots. I had watered it not that long ago. I probably should have waited um, to water it. I wasn't realizing at the time that I was going to do this video. But um, let me just clean around the, uh, around the trunk here. Get some of that topsoil off. We can be sure about our trunk. Anything that comes off very loose, I'm just pulling off. I might be able to. I might put it in the pot first. Usually, you would style first, then put it in the pot because you, once you plot it, you don't want to be moving the tree around too much. But this plant can take it if I need to do that. But I don't plan on doing any kind of hardly any root pruning on this. So, yeah. down this wider spot. Alright. 
there's there's the tree well, its roots got one big root down here not sure we really eh, looks like an important root it's got smaller roots back further um, but I can definitely get rid of this chunky piece on that root So, for now, I have some potting soil that I added a lot of extra perlite with, and for now this will do with this plant. Usually I'd use bonsai soil, but as I'm out, I just have to be careful. I don't overwater. And then next year I'll repot it again um, into proper bonsai soil. So I might be changing the angle of this. I just want to be able to see everything as I'm working on it. This could be coming back out of this pot before I'm done. But for now, just so it's covered. I'm gonna start working on the tree, then we'll come back to the, the potting portion of this tree. All right, so you can see here's the tree. So I'm gonna first come in and just prune everything back um, that has uh, has elongated too far. Or at least the tips to stimulate back growth. Any bad yellow leaves or diseased leaves I'll prune off. Side of a, a crotch of the branch, we're going straight up. Here, um, now see, I have choices here. I could make this a top of a tree or keep this as the top. Um, this long piece here, too long and straight, so I'm gonna cut back to this guy. This is what I'm saying, I'm gonna do a lot of cutting back. Oh, and these pieces, if I wanted to, would root relatively easy. This could make a nice cutting if you want more plants. That's one thing nice about buying one of these little shrubs. You can make a bunch more bonsai out of them. Within a year, they'll root, and you'll have a bunch of them if you like them. All flowering, nice scented flowers. Smell similar to gardenia. This this flowering piece here might be the, the new top. I'm not sure. But I like this the curve that comes up, if you can see that. It's kind of a zigzag curve, so it's not too straight for too long. Thing shorter. So you can 
stimulate back budding and get more branching. make a nice tree right there. Hmm. If I wanted a very small tree, I could get rid of this whole big branch here and turn this into a semi-cascade by itself. Actually, it would be very good scale. Which actually, I think I'm going to do. Yes, there's a lot I could work with, um, but it's really nice to get, when you start a plant, to get the taper really nice. And I'll make this video shorter than I originally planned. But let me prune this long piece off and then show you what we're left with. And I think you'll understand why I did it. Use my concave nipper. just took off I can make this into a big cutting now something this big you say oh you get can't get that to root but actually you could if you had something called intermittent mist set up where every couple of minutes you'd get a spray of mist and you put it in something like that a lot of stuff would root that otherwise wouldn't on uh, this little tip there so yeah we removed all this stuff so far get that out of the way show you what I'm left with you can see um, Might even want to get rid of this back branch. Really, just start with that. Um, only because they they come off the same direction. But I could wire it lower. But you know what? In time, that bar branch coming straight across look can look good temporarily. But eventually, it'll make that piece of trunk too thick. So why? You know, when you start something, you start it right and then you'll grow the bonsai from there. It's, it's not always about making it instantly a beautiful large bonsai. Um, it's about getting, giving it the be good best start so that it could be the best bonsai in the future that it can be. Um, so now you can see what I have so far. So I'm gonna better um, get this in the pot. Um, do a, well, let me do a little more pruning first. The rest of this still needs it. So I'm gonna Let's see, this is going straight up.
So I've pruned this tree to almost nothing. All right. But now it's got great taper. It's going to have all that strength that initially had in the roots. Remember, I didn't really prune roots. I cleaned some of the soil out that was and put actually better, more, more soil that drains better than the, the potting soil it was in. It was actually staying too wet. This has a lot more perlite in it. It will drain better. Um, and you will see this tree do really well. I'd like in the future, I'm going to kind of do uh, what I've seen other bonsai enthusiasts do, um, especially the, like the bonsai zone. That guy, you know, he likes to do a lot of follow-ups, and I think that'll be good as I go on. I'll do my follow-ups periodically of things I've done videos on before. So you, you can see the progress and th different things you have to do, different times of year and all that with particular trees. Um, the more you get into bonsai, the more you learn. There's more to learn. I've been doing it over 30 years and always learning and always improving, you know. Um, it's just an awesome hobby. Um, it's a great stress reliever, good connection to, to nature. You know, I've suffered with anxiety a lot through my life, um, through medical school, through first married, divorce, uh, through stressful teenage, you know, teenage kids, <laughs> you know, diff different many things in life, uh, you know, personal and business and so forth. Um, and bonsai has always been the thing that I could go to and get into a nice, beautiful, calm place and, and heal. All right, so let me um, throw a little number one wire on this something very flimsy and the beauty of having things this small is the wire is very inexpensive you get a lot of this wire for your buck uh, when you get this light stuff but this will be good for these little branches and this tree already has some nice curves in it I'm not sure I really need to bend I don't know if you could see tree already has some nice curves in it so I just really need to work on the, the little things um, so let's do that let's see. and for this I need the wire cutter which I have right here and this is good if you remove wire because it's it's flush at the end so you don't cut your tree some people will try to unwind wire. Um, this number one stuff, because it unwinds pretty easy, a lot of times it will with this, but most of my heavier wire, I, I always cut it off. I learned that from my, Kathy Shaner gave a talk once, demonstrating, um, you know, and then it made me think of all my early years in bonsai when I made, did everything wrong. Um, all the times we're trying to take a wire off and end up breaking an important branch or injuring something, losing part of the tree. Um, it's not worth it better just to cut it in pieces, cut it off, be safe, keep your tree happy with you. A little piece. Um, another thing, like when you wrap, you're going to wrap these two, oh, let me bring this up, these two branches here, this one and this one, um, when you come around, you got to kind of go opposite around you'll see as I wire um, otherwise when you move you don't you want it so if you move one branch the other one doesn't just tilt up or move with it so there's little tricks to wiring to do it correct if you're new to it so. and you wire in the direction which you're going to twist or bend the branch otherwise you go to twist or bend the branch and then the wire just gets looser and holds less now, when you're placing the wire on the branch, you're not really using the, the branch to push the wire. You're, you're kind of bending the wire as you go with your fingers. And there's a nice tool to help you with that if you have fat fingers and hard to get in there. Little gin pliers. You can grab the tip of the wire and bend it. There you go. Now I'm going to wrap the other way. Always keeping, right before the bend, keeping your finger on the wire, bracing it. 
as you bend the wire, not using the branch to bend it, otherwise the branch would snap and break. Again, I'm right-handed, but I can use my left hand for this. So I can bend these down. Let's see here. See what I did there. Um, this is this branch is already hanging down nice. I don't need to wire that. I can take that leaf sticking up straight up off of it. All right. Straight down. Let's see. I'll wire the, the top of the tree. This will probably, you know, in a couple weeks just bud back like crazy. And I'll have whatever choice of branches I want. Um, so this is going to be great. All right, now I'm going to wire this this up just a little bit. I like that it kind of leans, but. All right, so if I'm going to twist it this clockwise, which might be opposite on the video when you see this, but so I'm going to brace it on the branch below. Come around, that's I probably should have made this a little longer, but we'll see. I think I just wanted to tilt the not put that much wire actually on the. I'm going to tilt the branch up. That's it. There we go. This is a case. I should have made that wire longer. Take it off. Don't be lazy. You make it too short, take it off. If you were learning from a master, they see you doing something they don't like, they'd be telling you to take it off and redo it. So I'm going to cut a piece a little longer than that. So that's it. It's better to have a little bit long. I could always cut it excess off. Yeah, now I got plenty of long enough. Come down here. You know, usually when I calculate the piece of wire, I take whatever I'm wiring and I add like another third of, of that length to the whole length. And that's usually around the piece, the length of the wire I need. not to bend the branch but to bend the wire you bend the branch after you get the wire placed now this is when you use this kind of wire if you try not to make it too tight because if you do you'll see a little bit of growth on this plant in no time a few weeks you'd be taking the wire right back off again because it'll already start growing in. So, if you leave it a little loose, it gives you a little more time. But you do have to periodically check. Yeah. So, and 
this. Come on. You know I don't really need it on this thicker part. I'll secure it here instead of cutting it off. Right. So let's see here. I can take this. see the bend I have in that. Maybe I'll bend too much. Right. You can actually, this is a trick another I learned as I got into bonsai longer, you could take that whole tip and bend it down as a back branch. Because we know this tree kind of needs a back branch here, right? So. We can take this inside leaf off. that and you'll see this will pop buds up in where you bent here and you'll have a new top to form so that's that all right If it was bigger, the branch was the tree was heavier in this pot, and I just potted it. I would make sure I wired it into the pot. Um, otherwise, some wind or you know blows over it, it'll just you know the weight of the tree will move around and make it hard for it to grow new roots. Um, but the tree cut back so far, um, I'm going to put it in a protected area, and it'll get established here. I could even, if I really wanted to, I could place some rocks in the top or something. But uh, it's in there pretty good, um, wedged in there. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to water this in um, and it'll be a nice future bonsai. Okay. Like it. So, Alright, uh, well that's mainly this video. Uh, while I got you, I'll show my little pixie bougainvillea. Great variety. Um, root, make it from cuttings. Make roots from cuttings very easily. Um, great tree. All right. Thank you.